And there was another announcement by the government today. Five million dollars will be funnelled into Auckland businesses worst affected by the floods. But it's small comfort for a cluster of businesses hit twice in just over a year, with some saying they're close to folding. They spoke to Nick Trubridge. 16 months, two record-breaking storms, hundreds of thousands of dollars down the drain. Welcome to Kali Baksha's world. It's not giving any breathing time uh, and this is a lot of tension, a lot of, a lot of stress as well. His sheet metal business was trashed to the tune of $280,000 during this storm back in 2021. Now, deja vu, the latest has left him with a ruined workshop and one working machine. His livelihoods now in jeopardy. If I'm not able to provide things on time, by this loss, I will be out of business. And out of business means that I got about uh, eight families to look after, plus my family. Some help is coming, but it won't go far. $3 million for significantly affected businesses, another million for mental health help, $1 million for business advice, and IRD won't sting flood victims with late fees. In the meantime, Khalid Baksh is doing everything he can to keep the business afloat and his staff on board. Knocking off at 1, sometimes 2am, back up at dawn. If I'm not able to find a solution on this one, if I'm not able to help or have any compensation or anything like that, it would be hard, really hard for me to just carry on with the business. Next door, Keith Blinn's fire protection business has seen two record-breaking floods in the few years it's been at this premises. You've ripped the walls out twice. Yeah, 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 for sure. So. It is what it is. It is what it is, yeah. And these days, his stock's on stilts. You've just got to deal with it and just move on with it. Insurance is here. Uh, it'll come to the point where the building becomes uninsurable. He's not banking on much government help, a drop in the bucket when you're constantly weathering storms. It is more of a reality uh, for everybody uh, in the wider world. It's just climate change at its, at its worst and this is where we are. A daunting prospect as businesses count the costs yet again. Nick Trubridge, News Hub.